Um, the only way I can learn these things is, is from firsthand conversations with, with parents and students and, and staff in the schools. So again, I just really want to thank you. This is very important, um, what you're doing. And I'm and obviously I'm very open to hearing what you have to say. So it's the good, the bad, and the ugly, and that's the only way we can get better. Um, in my schools, I've only had the experience of talking to white counselors. And uh, I usually have to face them with black problems. And uh, I want a counselor that has the black experience. And I want them to teach me how they dealt with it when they were a child and how they can help me. Because when I talk to a white counselor, they can't relate to me. They can't help me in that way because they never experienced it. Uh, but also uh, hiring of more, more minority teachers. I'm hearing loud and clear that we need to do more about having uh, a diverse workforce in our in our teaching education profession. We go deep into the applicant pool for uh, diverse teachers. We hire more deeply into that applicant pool than we do in, in any other of our applicant pools. We do monitor that. Every year we come back to the principals and talk to them about their hires and question them when they don't hire uh, diverse candidates when they don't hire uh, diversity in color and in background. So we, we do work on that annually. It's a very hard thing to move though when we don't have the applicants. So you're early enough in the game. It's a great profession. Clearly you must love learning and love education or you wouldn't be here so late in the afternoon, young men, uh, so we can use you as teachers. I think something that could go a really long way is just doing diversity training for the teachers so that they're not stereotyping children and parents. Um, because a lot of times the biases are there and they're very obvious to me at least but the teachers may not necessarily recognize it. The other thing that I'm hearing is that uh, we need to do uh, more to work with our teaching staff around uh, understanding their biases uh, that they bring to the work and that, uh, that we should um, look to identify students that are marginalized and to lift them up. Uh, to not just level the playing field, but in many ways lift them up so that they can, uh, so that we can view the things that make students different from each other as advantages, not disadvantages. In fourth grade, I was doing nothing at all, and then our librarian snaps takes all of the black males, moves them from the area, and then fusses them. I never no knew reason. I was going to be raised in America. No reason. Just but I remember the, the day this happened to me came on Mark the Rise of the Sixth Grader. So let's point out that this was two years ago and it's still this important to him. And he did insist or try to insist that the librarian at least explain to them what they had done and he didn't even receive a response on that. And I feel like if you're going to be punished for something, you need to know what you did, one, so that you could possibly not do it again. Um, two, but but also just how how um, inconsiderate and rude and disrespectful to be asked the question and then feel like you don't owe that child an answer. Particular African American uh, young men don't feel that they are in many ways valued uh, by the teachers in the school. And I, I I heard different. Cat, you know, different stories from students talking about how they may be doing the same behavior as another student and they were the student that was addressed for it or they were the one pulled out of class for it. Um, and I think that our, our teachers need to understand that they, while they may not hear about these things from the student or maybe even from the parents, but there is a perspective there that this, is act, this actually does happen. And it is a fact that African American students are just as intelligent, just as gifted, uh, just as good students as any other student that we have. That is a fact. It's not an opinion. When teachers begin to realize that that is a fact, when we can show that to them through data and get them to rethink the work that they're doing, things will change. But until they do, they won't change.